Hello, and welcome to the Best Practices for Online Learning, an introductory video. In this video, we'll be learning about best practices and getting ready to dive into our, to our focused modules on each of those best practices. The learning goals for this introductory model are that participants will know each of the five best practices are. They'll be prepared to start their deeper learning and focused learning modules, and they'll understand the online learning commitments of Falls Church City Public Schools. The best practices for online learning are well-developed lesson plans, online classroom management, facilitating online discussions, communication with students and parents, and feedback for student growth. These, as you can see, these best practices are not very different than the best practices we've learned about and focused on for years in our face-to-face -face teaching. Well-developed lesson plans we've found in the online environment are vital to the importance of online learning. In our classrooms and when we're face to face, there's many times that we can deviate from those lesson plans because we understand the nonverbal cues and the things that we're seeing from our students in our physical environment. We don't get the same interaction in the online environment, so it's important to have a clear, written, well developed lesson plan and stay the course with that lesson plan for your online time. For online classroom management, just like our physical space, it's vital that we have clear routines and structures so students understand what to do and how to be successful in your classroom. Facilitating online discussions is imperative for students to be able to use, to use the language and the content that they're learning about. And facilitating those online discussions in a way that we're modeling as teachers what we expect from our students when they have these discussions, both orally and written, on our, in our synchronous and asynchronous time together. Communication with students and parents is really the key to making this all work. When, when we're face to face with our students, we have a little bit more relationship building time with them. But in the online environment, we don't have that face to face time where we can have those individual conversations and that time to build relationships. And that has to be done in a really structured and meaningful way in an online environment. So that communication with students and parents is very important to ensure that we're building relationships with parents and we're building relationships with students so that we all know how to be successful and feel provided for and a part of our learning community. Feedback for student growth, just like in our face-to-face -face environments, is so important so students know where they are and where to go to be successful. So having clear and written feedback and oral feedback and how students are doing and how they can improve is very important. In Falls Church City Public Schools, we have several commitments that we've focused on as important and meaningful and are moving forward with any type of online learning. For classroom management, we commit to providing clear, consistent routines and structures for engagement and learning across teams and grade levels. Well-developed lesson plans, we commit to providing developmentally appropriate, consistent, synchronous, and asynchronous scheduled instruction using the Schoology Learning Platform tools. Facilitating online discussion, we commit to providing online discussions that promote interaction and academic discussions that enhances the student experience. Communication, we commit to providing multiple personalized me mechanisms, synchronous videos, chats, emails, for communication with students and parents to support academic growth. Feedback, we commit to providing regular, timely feedback to promote learning so students can truly understand where they are and where they need to go to be successful. Following this introduction video, you'll have several learning modules which will dive in deeper on each of the best practices. The modules will be interactive and have videos from your peers. The professional development points will be earned for each of your experiences. You'll have six learning modules moving forward, one for each of the five best practices and one for social emotional learning, because as we all know, that's just as important for students to be successful in school.